This is a Ferrari Daytona SP3. It has a 6.5 litre V12 engine. It does 0 to 100 kilometres per hour in 2.85 seconds and has a top speed of 340 kilometres per hour. It's priced at 2 million euros and in Australia after taxes, it's expected to cost over 4 million Australian dollars. So, how can you buy one of these cars? You can't. Welcome to Talking Tactics, where we give you the news, information, and tactics that you need to thrive in the business world. And today, we're looking at something a little bit different, Ferraris. I'm sure most of you have heard of Ferrari. The car manufacturer makes some of the fastest, most luxurious, and expensive cars that you can buy. But buying a Ferrari isn't as easy as turning up to a showroom and opening up your wallet. As mentioned at the start of the video, the Ferrari Daytona SP3 was announced on 20th of November 2021, but it was already sold out before it had even been revealed. Only 599 Daytona SP3s will be made. In total, Ferrari only make about 8,400 vehicles every year. If you compare that with a company like Volkswagen, who make about 8.9 million cars in 2020, it's clear that Ferrari isn't interested in just selling as many cars as it possibly can. With such a limited stock and being such a luxury item, Ferraris are much more selective about who gets to buy one of their cars. Mm. This is the F8 Spider, and whilst it's considered an entry level for Ferrari vehicles, it still comes with a price tag of many hundreds of thousands of dollars. The F8 Spider and its hardtop twin, the F8 Tributo, both are powered by a 3.9 litre V8 engine that produces 710 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque. It has a top speed of 340 kilometres per hour and does 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds. This one is in Rosso Corsa with a metallic flick. But even being an entry-level vehicle, you still need to be vetted by your local Ferrari dealer and approved to be able to buy one. Hi, I'm Franco Giamatte. I'm the sales manager here at Ferrari Brisbane. And Franco, what's the process of buying a Ferrari? Oh, look, I mean, it's a very similar process in terms of how you buy any car. It's not really sales. It's more of a relationship that we build with the client. Uh, we, we help them. We help them realise their dream. Our cars are near impossible to get. So it's, you know, come in, configure the car with us, test drive our demo, yep, sign the paperwork and wait for the car to turn up, I suppose, is how it works. And, really. and there's a lot of limited edition, rare, exclusive cars. How, how do you work your way up in the ranks of Ferrari to be able to go and acquire these prestigious yeah. and exclusive vehicles? So, like, yeah, Ferrari do do limited editions. Um, so, for example, the, the latest one, the 812 Competizione. So, customers have to have, you know, I think the customers, we're getting six, seven cars currently owned, including V12s, um, is how you sort of become in the mix. It depends how many they're building to start with. In Marinello, uh, the factory is how they decide who gets the cars. They'll have, obviously they know all their customers around the world and can see their customer score as it were. So that's, you know, how many cars they own, what events they attend. Uh, are they a, you know, brand ambassador, like they promote the brand. It is not necessarily people that are on Instagram or Facebook or anything. That's not really what it is. What they mean by being a brand ambassador is that they'll be at events and bring new clients to the brand as well. So that's how you kind of rank up with Ferrari and then the factory allocate the cars. So it's not down to the dealer. So the factory just say, hey, we're inviting these people to buy this car. Different again when it comes to sort of Icona models like the Daytona or you know the LaFerraris in the past, how they're done where they're super rare, done to just the top VIP clients around the world. And that those kind of customers would have, you know, 15 Ferraris owned. For example, in order to buy the Daytona, you either had to have already owned a Ferrari Monza SP1 or SP2, the two previous vehicles in Ferrari's Icona series, or be part of a group of preferred private collectors that Ferrari specifically offered it to. That means it was only offered to 599 people and they all pre-purchased the vehicle before they even knew what it was called or what it looked like. So in order to buy those rare and exclusive ones, you need to start off at, with the base models, something like a, an F8 Tributo, which we've got right yeah. here. Yeah, no, for sure. Like it's not buying like a base model building. So as long as you're, you're supporting Ferrari by buying their current model range, yes. So 
if whether it be an F8, Roma, or SF90, if you you keep buying their uh, range cars, that's how you qualify for the the limited. And in the stable that you've got here, we've got the F8 Tributo. What can you tell us about this car? So this is the the last in the the long line of our mid-engine V8s. Uh, so the F8 Tributo is is a tribute to the V8. It's a celebration of of what Ferrari have achieved over the last 40 years with, with this type of model, which is a, a two-seater mid-engine V8. The, the dynamics of this car is just out of this world. It's, you know, they saved the best till last, but obviously technology's come such a long way since, you know, they introduced the 308, you know, 40 plus years ago. So Ferrari is going hybrid. You've got an SF90 here. Yeah, we have, yeah. we take a look. Definitely. So this is the future of Ferrari, the hybrids. Obviously we've been developing hybrid technology for a number of years. We, we had a, a 599 High Curs car that was built for one of the motor shows. And then obviously we launched the LaFerrari back in 2013. And that was our first hybrid car. But this is our first production road car that utilizes three electric motors. So it's actually a four wheel drive. So you have one motor uh, connected to the engine and gearbox at the back of the car. And then each front wheel has its own motor with a two-speed gearbox controlling that as well. So, so we really are going into hypercar territory with we are, yeah. something like an SF90. Yeah. I mean, zero to 100 in 2.5 seconds. Yeah, 2.5. It's just, you have to feel it to, to believe it. It's such a weapon of a car. Luxury products such as watches and jewellery generally use an economic theory known as the scarcity principle to drive sales. Consumers tend to place a higher value on goods that are scarce than on goods that are abundant. The fact that Ferrari only makes a small number of vehicles every year gives them that image of quality and desirability and allows Ferrari to charge such a high price. The fact that they are also beautiful cars with very impressive speed power and engine specifications, and are driven by some of the most famous people on the planet, also helps with the desirability. Well, Ferrari have done a great job of keeping their products scarce. Yes, yeah, that's right. And then. therefore, in creating that, that demand where yeah. you just have to have one, yeah, but you can't. But the, and, and Enzo Ferrari famously said, I'll always build one less car than I can sell. So that demand is always there. For people watching this video now, and they realize, okay, we need to start a relationship with the Ferrari dealer, what would be your top tips to those people? That come on in, like we welcome anyone to you know, come in for a coffee, have a chat with us, tell us what you're looking for. You know, if you don't see something on the floor, we, you know, with our massive database of Ferrari clients, we can find something. Whether it be you're looking for a, a 360 Spider or you, you want to order an SF90 Spider, we can help. Um, but you've got to come in, let us know who you are. If we don't know who you are, we can't help you. It's, it's as simple as that, and we always welcome people in. We're you know, currently going renovations, so the showroom's going to look even better. Um, and yeah, we, we want to grow our Brisbane family uh, more with, with used, new, whatever they want. Looks like it's time to start filling up my stable. My name is Mel Pigos, and we've been talking tactics. <laughs>